Hey guys, Rodeo WN here. Just been working on some stuff recently on cargo storage. Uh, my brother wanted this storage system building for his Eagle transporters. As you can see, we've got one parked on a pad here. Uh, there's a lot of wiring I've got going on. Uh, this is the control bay for the pods, pod 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and we've got a platform that closes as well to close the floor off. This floor will be covered over, I've just left it open now to show the wiring so you get an idea of where everything goes, it's all in the floor etc. I have the pods that we can go in and out of and up here is a digital display that shows us which pad is moving at any time. You can see all the wiring in behind it. Uh, and this flashes and we get when it's locked in place it lights up green here. That's just a timing circuit so I can get flashing going on. This is a control unit for the pods. Each one of these remotely operates a pod locking on and off. And I have a system whereby the pod can't be disconnected or reconnected unless the eagle is on the platform. Once it flies away from the platform, the pod can then be disconnected manually when you land on a planet, etc. And you could fly back and get another pod. Uh, I'll whiz down below under the floor to show you. The wires, control wires come down under here. To this mess of wires down here all working down one central rail and they go off to the sides into their respective bays and we have bays one two three four five and six down at the sides and up at the top here is the lid that closes when we've not got a pod at the top I have detectors on the rails so I know which pod is where at any time lots of connections involved rail speed controllers on each rail because when I had it controlling just all the rails in one go it screwed up the electronics something the logic something rotten it's been fun working it out and I've made it foolproof or as foolproof as I can but I'll show you it in action so you get an idea of uh, how it works. So let's say we want to send down pod 1. At the moment it's connected to the eagle so we've got the activation button here that transfers the pod. If I press that button you can see the pod jumps down onto the pad below it. That's now connected to the pad. So let's say I want pod 4 to come up. I press the pod 4 button and pod 1 exits and heads off down to its bay. Now it was taking a long time for the pods to come up which is why I put the rail controllers on and as you can see as that one goes into its bay the next pod comes out. This avoids collisions and you get the next pod coming out, oh, server saving there, uh, you get the next pod coming out as quickly as possible. And pod 4 comes up to the top And as soon as it's here, it's locked on. You can see number four is lit up at the top there. And I can transfer it across to the eagle. The eagle can then take off and take it to its destination and drop the pod off and come back and pick up another pod if it wants to. Now, let, let's put a pod in place here. Uh, I'll just drop it back down. It's on the platform, as you can see. Now I can make that platform go down obviously but if the pod is up in place and the eagle is parked on the pad because I've set up these AND gates underneath the switches and this connection here goes to where the eagle docks and also I've got this wireless connection here coming from the top of the eagle where the pod locks on so the AND gates won't actually operate if I press the button let's say I wanted pod 3 now I press the button and it doesn't operate the AND gate underneath because not all the requirements are there for it. <clears throat> this wireless connection needs to be on 
actually the knot gate needs to be on which shows that the all pods are connected to the uh, that the pod is not connected to the eagle so I'll drop it off and you can now see that the wireless connection here has turned it to a knot system I'll now transfer this back down uh, what pod shall I bring up pod number two yeah let's go for pod two why not you can see pod four goes away as soon as it starts going into its bay pod 2 is coming out down the, down below it can you see and heads on its journey up it doesn't take long can live with that I've got the digital display up there that flashes whichever pods moving and then when it locks in place you'll see that it lights up solid and goes green underneath it there you go, so we know that it's now locked in place and we can transfer it. You can only transfer the pods when there is a platform at the top and it's one button to transfer the pods, it doesn't matter which one it is because of the way I've set it up, it checks to see which pod is at the top so it only transfers that one pod. I hope you liked it.